Welcome to the Highlights channel of the Ranveer Show. Quick fire, heavy information clips available for you now. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video and enjoy it. This is my absolute favorite topic, probably more than science, more than history, more than geopolitics. I love dinosaurs. I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan. I'm sure you're, you are one as well. Uh, what do you think that reality would have been like where Earth is full of these gigantic dangerous reptiles <laughs> probably in the herbivorous ones were crazily dangerous like if human beings existed at the same time uh, we would be the prey we would be the little worms that you just brush to the side it's like having giant birds wandering around uh, the dinosaur age was very interesting lots of different kinds of creatures dinosaurs some big some small i believe most of the dinosaurs would have been smaller in size cat sized some would even be bird sized a few of them would be massive you had the brontosaurus apatosaurus those massive herbivorous dinosaurs that nobody could touch even a t-rex would stay away i'm not sure the t-rex co inhabited the same time period as the brontosaurus or whatever then you had something called gigantosaurus stegosaurus allosaurus then the very various velociraptors and so on and so forth so a very interesting uh, diversity of dinosaur life forms most of them had feathers which most people don't realize because we've only seen the skeletons we've not seen the fossils with the feathers embedded in them and you had an entire different flora and fauna around them you had insects some some at some uh, periods in time you had massive dragonflies that were like 3 feet long then you had snakes you had crocodiles as well you had undersea reptiles you know massive uh, reptiles that looked like dolphins and sharks and maybe whales as well it was a very interesting time period a whole different earth that we cannot possibly imagine lots of the animals that existed at that at that time are most likely lost to the to the fossil record because the fossil record can only preserve hard animals and hard parts of animals if you have something like a jellyfish something like a slug something like a snail without a shell you will not find any evidence of that in the fossil record who's to say that there wasn't a massive gigantic you know 100 foot tall snail possible it's possible mm. yeah so many of these creatures would have been lost to, to the fossil record the kind of uh, plants you had also would have been very interesting maybe different from what we have today we do know that the, you had a uh, bees at the time you had wasps at the time you had spiders at the time and some of these praying mantis and all because you find the remains of some of these embedded in amber so what is amber it's when you have pine trees that uh, if they are cut the bark is cut then it leaks a kind of glue mm. very aromatic glue mm. and sometimes this glue will fall on an insect it gets entombed in that and sometimes and over the eons this glue hardens into what is called amber it's mm. like a mineral and even today you find insects embedded in amber which are millions of years old you break it open you will actually find the dna mm. that's another thing and it's possible that in some parts of the world if you get really lucky you may even find a dinosaur frozen in some part of the ice uh, ice uh, you know the permafrost possibly if you get really lucky it may be possible so it was a very interesting time period a very different kind of flora and fauna around you so yeah it's fascinating i was fascinated with dinosaurs very much as a kid like i used to read books about dinosaurs even before jurassic park came out <laughs> it was great fun the obvious question i'm going to ask you is why were you fascinated what fascinated you about the dinosaurs like uh, for me jurassic park played a huge role it was my introduction to it but in a world that didn't have jurassic park what kind of caught your attention i think it's the closest you could come to a mythological creature like a dragon or something these were massive monstrous giant reptiles that looked like dragons and it's it's something that captures a kid's imagination kids live half the time in the fantasy world they they think about how the world would have been and 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 at that time you still don't understand science and you know you can imagine things that may not exist in science so dinosaurs really caught my imagination because they were so massive and majestic and the teeth and the claws and the mm. scale and the size and and the the how exotic they were they mm. were like nothing you saw in ordinary life mm. you know and it's it's something that happened such a long time ago i knew about that more than 66 million years ago so all of those things fascinated me the colors the sizes the fact that these are lizards and they were so big i mean just imagine that mm. <laughs> so all that you know Mm. Um what do you actually think life on the planet was like like there's this thought i've had very often 
uh, especially when I was a kid, I used to live in Dadar, and I used to visualize all the buildings around me and think to myself that if I had to hit a button which would unlock a time machine for me here and now, and I had to go back to the time of dinosaurs, what would I actually see? Obviously, I'd see jungles. I might see hills, and then somewhere in the near uh, physical area, I would probably see this massive reptile and then run for my life, even if it was a herbivorous uh, creature. What do you actually think life was at that point? Because I believe for the entire duration that dinosaurs existed on this planet, if we take that entire timeline, if we compare the human timeline to that timeline, we are just three lakh years old. Here we're talking about how many millions of years? Ah, uh, the dawn of the dinosaur age was about. uh about 250 million years before today roughly roughly so they lasted close to 200 million million years that's a whole lot of time and we're at 300000 years we are one third of a million years that's that's nothing yeah yeah my question to you is for such a long time why do you think the dinosaurs didn't evolve into an intelligent scientific species one and two could there be a possibility that they did and we've just lost those remnants that is an interesting question so think up let's let's try and un- unpack how did we become what we are our ancestors were rat like shrew like creatures about 20 million years before today the first apes emerged the first uh, hominins hominins emerged about us uh, three or so million years ago and they were still at the ape like level of intelligence not nothing special it's only about half a million or so years ago that something special started happening and uh, maybe a million or so years ago so it's a very short amount of time. so why did we become different how did we differentiate ourselves and how did we evolve differently one of the reasons is that we started walking upright on two feet and that's why we were able to see much further away and because of that our eyes needed to shift in the front and see telescopically like cats do and then we developed large brains that gave us more processing capability and that gave us the ability to make tools and all that now think about dinosaurs many of them were also bipedal most of them had eyes on the sides of the head but some of them may have had eyes at the front we don't know about we haven't cataloged all the dinosaur species that lived so is it possible that there could have been some dinosaur species that was similar to ours it was a reptile but it walked on two feet it had eyes in the front and and, and, a, and a large cranial capacity it's possible such a species might have evolved mm. and what if is uh, there was intelligence comparable to ours could they have built civilizations they also had reasonably articulate hands some dinosaurs did have that if such a s- species did evolve and if they did build some kind of civilization of some kind why why do we find no trace of that cuz it was so long ago that it just got buried under layers of the precisely earth. the tectonic activity ensures that every few million years maybe 50 million years 100 million years whatever is on the surface gets buried maybe permanently below the surface maybe every 300 million years maybe something like that so from time to time after every certain amount of time whatever is on the surface gets lost forever it gets recycled under the surface sometimes it may sink down to the magma layer and that's why if something like that happened let's say a billion years ago most likely we will never find any trace of that mm. so it is certainly possible i think i think it's called the silurian hypothesis that maybe it's possible that an intelligent species and civilization did exist on our planet a long time ago but all traces of that have been erased by tectonic activity mm-hmm. it is certainly plausible and and not beyond the realms of possibility that such a thing may have happened yeah that was the video for today make sure you hit like subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends trs clips will be back soon